and I met the, the director uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, he told me that he's just really tired of, of doing this uh, for 30 years and uh, he need uh, he needs something, somebody to refresh the whole uh, festival idea because he he wants to st he wants to finish the whole festival. He's just tired of it. And I told him my idea about um, I learned in Western European countries and the U.S. And I I I told him uh, it's not enough just concentrate on Hungarian films to show in Hungary or maybe just bring one country into as a special program. But today the fashionable thing is to do a world festival when you can open up to the older filmmakers. Doesn't matter it's a, a trained um, a commercial filmmaker or just a freelance or independent uh, amateur. The challenge is, I think, in Hungary, uh, filmmakers and the film industry and distribution is really uh, way back. They, they're very slow in a meaning of not, uh, not uh, catching up with, with the present European uh, um, trend. So my idea was uh, we have to make a workshop of, of um, projections uh, so give a chance to hang in filmmakers, to meet uh, people from other countries, to have, uh, to have instruct instructors coming in and telling what's the deal in, in, U in the US and Europe, how the films uh, made, uh, how fil films had been made uh, in outside of Hungary. Um, because in Hungary we have only one method. You have to be the friend of the, the mafia who is, uh, sp you know, spreading the money out and we only have government money, you know. And in, in the Western world, yes, there is something like this, but there is a way where pre independent producers coming, going around and seeing films on festivals and seeing uh, directors and picking them up and say, okay, let's talk. Let's do this and that. Do you have a script? And they said, we don't have this in Hungary. I want to teach this to the people. Not just the filmmakers, but the viewers. There is something else, not just the very professional looking movies in movie theaters, on television, but there is a huge community making movies like people uh, write uh, poems before. So simple. So that was our intention to bring something to Eger, and you know, try to like a magnet, try to get people here from Hungary and from Eastern Europe, as well. Uh, nothing around in Hungary or in Eastern Europe something the similar. Um, they have festivals, you know, old like old festival like Cannes, Carlo Vivari in Budapest, but they are for the big shots, you know, for big money, well, you know, big crowd. Uh, it's nothing, you know, it's out of fashion now. You can see Khan, it's not that uh, important anymore than before. Or, uh, well, the biggest challenge was locally here at the town, th those people who, who fi uh, financially supported us, um, they were afraid we're not going to have enough films. They said, you know, uh, if you're going to have 30, 40 films on the festival, uh, applicants, we're going to be very happy about that. And uh, when we went over 100, they started to be kind of, oof. And when we went over 200, <laughs> they got scared. And when we went over 260, <laughs> you know, they were very happy and a little bit scared of how we can handle this. But fortunately, just in the five days, we have plenty of time to show all the films. We differentiate, you know, we, we make a line where certain films are over or under the line, but we give you a chance to have your film on the big screen. So it's kind of a freedom in, free, in, in our slow film festival. Uh, we want to make it stronger the line of, of making the workshops for filmmakers and have the idea, have, have the word to spread. You know, it's like a new religion in Hungary, in Eastern Europe. And the other one is uh, the, the thing, we, we, we are not successful this year. I think uh, we have to find certain ways to get the local people in and, and fill the movie theater for the projections. Because today is so much media out there, so much information, it's so tough to communicate across your, your message. People not ready to, to, to intelligent uh, educational um, art or films to watch. The media feedback is pretty good. Pretty good and we had, compared to the, 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 the weight of the uh, happenings, I think we got locally and, and um, the, from in the region and in the country, we got plenty of media. Uh, that's not a problem. And I think it's a problem with the people, with the people's head. We have to make them to understand. They have to when they when they want to have some kind of fun. It's not enough just laugh and and it ease up. But uh, the the real fun is to think. You know, while you having something like that. So, what are the key directors, uh, world audiences have to know about Hungary? Hungarian directors. Uh, Janos Sass, I would say he's he's one of the leading. Uh, Herendi, uh, Gabor. 
Gabor Herend in an international way. Um, and still we have the old shots like Istvan Sabo, Jancho, uh, Miklos Jancho, which called Jancso a lot in the international media. Um, but again, I have to make a comment. We don't really have a generation now with, uh, with together would say that this is Hungarian cinema because uh, we don't really have uh, well-made education in Hungary. So most of our um, 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 filmmakers outside of Hungary in the States, in Western Europe. Let's, there's a good example, uh, Christina Goda. Uh, she is, uh, she's, uh, she grew up in Hungary. She was an assistant of Istvan Sabo. She went to London to study film and now she came back. And she became one of the uh, supported person of Andrew Wojna. And she made two films in a row after year after another. And I think she's just uh, out of you know, the direction. She's a well-trained film director, as a craftsman, crafts lady, craftsman. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody. But uh, it's not, I think it's at that level, it's just not enough. It's, she's, not, she's not making Hungarian films. She's an international f film director, you know? So uh, I wouldn't her call uh, most of the directors Hungarian who are the best, unfortunately.